shotgun microphone is better at rejecting ambient noise and off-axis sound sources than other microphone types. Its narrow pickup angle allows a shotgun mic to be located somewhat farther from the source than a conventional mic. A shotgun microphone does not let you zoom in on a conversation from 100 feet away, however. Shotgun microphones are often used for broadcasting, TV and film production, sports, and other applications where it's impractical or undesirable for the subject to wear or hold a microphone. Depending on the production, the microphone can be connected to the audio input on the camera or to an external audio recorder. A shotgun microphone is a unidirectional microphone with a slotted tube, called an interference tube, mounted to the front. The slots cause sounds coming from the sides to be greatly reduced in level. The pickup angle is the angle within which the level of the sound source will be reasonably consistent. Sounds coming from outside of this angle will be significantly reduced in level. The pickup angle of a shotgun microphone is determined by the length of the interference tube. The longer the tube, the narrower the pickup angle. For example, the Shure VP89 shotgun mic is available in three lengths. The VP89S has a short tube and has a pickup angle of about 70 degrees. The VP89M has a medium length tube and has a pickup angle of about 50 degrees. The VP89L has a long tube and has a pickup angle of about 30 degrees. Here's a comparison of how short, medium, and long shotgun mics sound at the same distance from a talker. Now I'm speaking into the VP89S, which is the short shotgun mic. Now I'm speaking into the VP89M, the medium length shotgun. This is the sound of the VP89L, which is the long shotgun mic. With the longest interference tube, it picks up the least amount of room ambience. To take advantage of the shotgun mic's narrow pickup angle, the mic should be positioned so that it is aimed at the desired sound source, but away from undesired sound sources, including sources that are behind the subject. What you want to do is position the microphone so that your desired sound source is on axis to the microphone and your undesired sound source is off axis to the microphone. In this case, we want to pick up the sound of my voice and we'd like to minimize the sound of the machine that's there behind me. One option is to put the microphone below me, below the talker, facing upwards so that the machine noise is perpendicular to the microphone. However, in some situations, you might pick up a lot of reflected sound off the ceiling that way. Another option would be to put the microphone directly in front of me, pointing at me. Now, in this case, it's still pointed at me, but we might be getting too much sound of the machine depending on the location and the nature of the sound coming off of it. Another option with shotgun mics is to position the mic above the subject, pointing down at their face. That way you can still pick up the sound of the talker and pick up a little bit less of the noise source behind them, such as the machine in this case. So with shotgun microphones, what you want to do is make sure you pay attention to not only the desired sound source, but the nature and position of your undesired sound source, and that's how you'll get the best results in a variety of environments. Most shotgun microphones include hardware that allows for different mounting options in different applications. The most common approach in film and video production is the boom or fishpole, which can be secured to a stand for fixed shots or held by an operator during moving shots. Another option is the pistol grip, which allows the microphone to be moved more quickly. Pistol grips are often used when recording sound effects outdoors. In TV news gathering, a short shotgun microphone is typically mounted on top of the camera. With some cameras, the noise of the zoom lens or image stabilization system may create noise that an on-camera microphone will pick up in quiet recording environments. All mounting hardware should be designed to isolate the microphone from vibration transmitted through the stand, grip, or camera. Shotgun microphones are more susceptible to wind noise than conventional microphones. A foam windscreen is sometimes used indoors to prevent noise if the mic is moved rapidly. Outdoors, a larger windshield, called a zeppelin or blimp, is usually necessary. These consist of layers of materials that diffuse air currents without significantly altering sound quality. A synthetic fur cover allows the mic to be used even in extreme conditions. Listen to the difference that the windscreen can make on a windy day. On my right, I've got the standard foam windscreen. In the center, I've got the Rycote Softy windshield. And on my left, 
I've got the complete Rycoat Zeppelin windscreen system with the fur cover on it. The shotgun microphone is an important tool for video producers. By enabling clear sound pickup in noisy conditions or at longer working distances, a shotgun mic can help you to create more professional sounding video projects. For more information about shotgun microphones, visit Shure.com.